But that doesn't look anything like his, does it? We just get it up the best way we can. This is Carrie Good's exercise routine, an effort to stem a tide that has turned against him. Booting us into the second period. His end over end kick will come down the goon at the one, across the 10, the 15, speed, and he's gone. A gifted and humble running back. Goodbye, Carrie Good. Carrie Good was the pride of Town Creek, Alabama. He and all four of his brothers played for the University of Alabama. Kerry would go on to play and coach in the NFL for 11 years. It's hard to imagine being in this position, even harder to be here and can't get out of it. Started out with breathing issues. There were chronic sinus infections, weakness, cramps, weight loss. Carrie's wife, Tanja, saw the change in her husband one day through the kitchen window. I saw him in the yard cutting grass and I noticed that his entire posture was different. After a string of doctor's visits, they were led to the devastating reason for the changes, ALS. He really doesn't have an appetite. He just eats because he know he needs to. A larger than life existence shrank. Getting dressed on his own is a two hour affair. A brief walk. We make it. Exhausting. He needs help to breathe. I lost almost 60 pounds initially. You know, I go from 230 pounds, got to play football. At one point, I could bench 400 pounds, squatted over 800. Now I can't pick up a glass of water. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my. Carrie's doctor, Jonathan Glass, founded Emory Brain Health's ALS Center 20 years ago. All right, I'll go see him. Carrie's one of 550 patients who come to clinic day and do what would normally be impossible, see every type of therapist, doctor, surgeon, nurse in a single day. They all come to one place. We get it all one day. There is extra hope this visit because a new drug will soon be available. Everybody's going to want it, so we're trying to figure out how we're going to do that. And Dr. Glass is doing a trial that could be a game changer, an effort to turn off the genes that cause ALS. These things will be put into the spinal fluid of patients, and hopefully they will target that abnormal gene and turn it off. Boom. It's like a switch. Two years into his diagnosis, Kerry runs his foundation to help other families struggling to pay for medical care. He still goes home to Alabama, beloved by fans and coach Nick Saban. I love football. Still have a passion for it. Kerry is among the thousands of players who were plaintiffs in the now settled concussion injury class action suit against the NFL. He is still waiting for a settlement. Playing sports teaches you that if you persevere, it'll turn around. But turnarounds require time, and that is a harsh reality for people with ALS, most of whom will die within three years. You make the best of it. You love harder. You make it work harder. You have friendships harder. In the past few months, Carrie and Tanja have traveled to the Caribbean, gone on an Alaskan cruise, and renewed their marriage vows in Hawaii. Pride of Town Creek, Alabama has tasted victory and defeat. <laughs> Kerry Good is facing the last leg of his life's journey with grit and hope. Somewhere down the road, we may find a cure. It may not help me, but I would like to think I had a part in getting some attention to the disease. I got ALS. I'm still living. So it really does not have me. I'm Jay Watson for Emory Brain Health.